back to yet another video. So glad to have you here. Now, today I thought I'd do a really quick tutorial. We've all seen those star trail photos where the stars seamlessly create trails across the sky and it looks really, really cool. I want to show you how to do that and how I've created those in the past. Here are some examples of my previous work in this sort of style. Now, in full transparency, this video was meant to be kind of like a vlog going out, showing you the exact like process of how I've captured these photos and stuff. Me and Ola got to the location and other photographers were there. It was also nighttime and I didn't really want to vlog in front of all the other photographers doing the same thing I was. So yeah, we'd sort of scrapped the vlog idea and I thought I'd do it just a little one-to-one -one tutorial, we'll call it. I've got a ton of photos, no idea how, that, how they're going to look because I haven't looked at them, nor how many I've got. So we'll go up to editing Callum and go from there. Take it away, editing Callum. So, first and foremost, you're gonna get everything dropped into Lightroom. I've got all my photos here. Uh, there's actually not as many as I thought there was. So this could be a, an issue and look really horrible at the end, but we'll see. So what I've done is just edited one of the middle ones just so it's a bit more punchy, bit sharper, and these stars sharp a little bit more. And all I'm gonna do is shift, click, across, sync, synchronize, and then same again the other way. And then all you're gonna do is select all of them and export. So up next, what you're gonna do is open up Photoshop. So once Photoshop is opened, you head up to File, Scripts, load files into Stack, hit Browse, and then select all the photos, open, and hit OK, and let the computer do its thing. Depending on how many photos you have, the slower or faster this will go. I only have 64 photos, so this shouldn't take too long. I've done it before, I've had like 800 photos, and it took about three hours to process them into a stack. So once it's all loaded in, all you're simply gonna do, scroll down, select all, and go to your blend options. It'll be normally on normal, but could be different on your one. But if you head down to lighten and then wait again, so slow. Uh, I'll, I'll be back when it's actually worked. Nearly there, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that looks so bad. What is that? So before I show you, I'm just gonna tell you that this uh, was meant to be like a a nice long one. I thought I had enough time doing it. Clearly not. This looks horrendous. But you know what? It's for an example purpose, so <laughs> here you go. Oh god. It's vile. But it's for an example, it's fine. I've put I've put past examples up at the beginning of this video, so oh my god, that's awful. You know what? Who cares? It's fine. But yes, once you have done that. Select all your images again, right click and flatten image and wait a few seconds. And once that's done, you have one layer and that is that. And then you can edit and adjust that how you wish and export and you're finished with your final photo. It's that simple, back to normal calendar. Now, that was a horrible edit. <laughs> Ugh, God, I am ashamed of my photography skills, but I'm gonna call it a practice because I want to do more in the future again, like proper, proper ones and like proper styled and planned shoots where I potentially want to print some. So this is just a practice. I've never done them with this camera before. So that's all it is. It's fine because that photo was utter dog shit. <laughs> Here's some of my old photos again. So you regain your faith in me when it comes to star, star trail photography because that was bad. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, this little short tutorial. Leave a comment if you have any ideas of where I should shoot next for my Star Trail photography endeavors. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I shall see you in the next video. Peace.